have returned once again today to actually do another episode of Asobi Asobase on this stream we actually are covering. I think we're good to go. I think we're good to go. Yeah, so um, I have returned today to actually do another episode of Asobi Asobase on this stream. We actually, I cover episode 8 of Asobi Asobase. And as we know, this show is freaking incredible. It really is. Like, it has to be probably one of the best comedies of the whole entire year. Possibly maybe even the best. I'm not even too sure just yet. It's a, it's a hard one to pinpoint just yet. Because, I mean, we had, we've had a lot of good shows this whole entire year. And actually kind of pinpointing the best is actually kind of hard at this point. Because there's actually been way too many good ones. Surprisingly more than I actually imagined. So yeah, hope episode 8 of this anime does in theory deliver more of the same. Because if it does, that'd be great. That'd be absolutely fantastic. So yes. Let's actually put on uh, Twitter. I've gone live. Alright, uh, so gone live. For Asobi Asobase. I think I have it down to a T now. Down to a T. I do. There we go. We're done. Good to go. It does actually. Like next season looks absolutely incredible. Like next season just looks. Oh, I don't even. I don't even know. I don't even know. This season was. It was more of a low key season. Low key season, really, when you think about it. Like it wasn't. It wasn't ones that had like loads and loads of good ones. I mean, the ones we did have were actually really freaking good. But um. But next season just looks. Oh. We have it's Jojo man. Jojo's next season. It's the it's the it's the king. It's back. Jojo's back. I believe there is uh there's Sword Art Online as well, I think. Unless they've changed that. It's been it's been kind of it has no it has no technical release date, but But it's kinda there, I guess. Sword Art Online, I think. But yeah, oh yeah, that slime show gets, gets an anime next season. Isn't um, isn't there also one by White Fox as well? I think. I think. Is it Goblin Slayer? I think some by White Fox in his next season as well. I'm trying. To, I'm trying to actually remember. I can't even remember half the shows. The one that I always remember is JoJo because it's JoJo. But yeah, I mean, it's also that one show that's done by the director of Steins Gate, which kind of looks all right. It might be good. I'm not too sure. And I think that's the ones I noticed so far. Hopefully, there actually is a lot more, um, like, smaller shows. Because this season had a lot of smaller shows that actually were really good. Like, Starlight was amazing. Cells at Work was amazing as well. This is amazing. Loads. But anyway, so... Anyway, <laughs> my brain just stopped for a second there. I just completely stopped. But anyway, so let's actually begin this stream in 3, 2, 1. Let's begin this thing now. I've actually changed headphones, so I actually have to like figure out whether or not they're actually working, just in case. <laughs> so I had the awkward moment of actually starting streaming, and then the sound actually is actually coming out of the of the uh, monitor. But no, it's fine. It's working. It's all it's all alright. It's fine. But I've had a show literally literally came out of nowhere, like it literally did. Because at first I was like, this looks alright. Uh, this looks alright, but I thought to myself, it probably might be that amazing. But it actually is like one of the best of the whole entire year. And it's just one of those ones that came out of nowhere. Oh, the Radiant Mag is actually really freaking good. Like, for the, for the first, like, I would say 10, 20 chapters, it actually was really good. I completely forgot about that anime coming out next season as well. Yeah, Radiant, Radiant is actually pretty good. I read it years ago, actually. I read it when it first came out. Oh, is that next season? I thought was se I thought that was twenty nineteen.
<laughs> oh man, if that was the case. <laughs> if that was the case, if he actually was playing SMDX2, that'd be effing amazing. I'd be like, yes, boy. Absolutely 11 out of 10 anime. She actually is playing the real Shin Megami Tensei games as well. Beautiful. Beautiful. That's amazing. I love how this show actually, um, I love how this show actually addresses the whole entire idea of, um, smartphones with really useless tech on them. <laughs> because it, because it's true. Like, half the time you're kind of sitting there going, do you really need that on your phone? It's one of those things. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I mean, if, if only there was actually was a show about people just playing SM2 the whole entire time. That'd be freaking great. <laughs> I mean, Cosby's one of the best characters the whole entire year. Like, hands down, one of the best characters. That would be the most depressing show in the universe, let's face it. Like, if they're just playing Dragon Guard the whole entire time. It would be the most depressing show in the universe. You're basically watching about four people going to self-destruction. Literally.
I mean, Hanako is like one of the best characters of the whole entire year as well. Like Hanako just, Hanako is just so great as well. <laughs> I actually can't believe how great the voice work in the show actually is as well. The voice work is actually impeccable. It's actually just it's just so freaking amazing. <laughs> Tell me about it. Cosby actually plays no games. Twenty eighteen truly is the year of, pl of people playing no games. a Mad Max actual reference as well. <laughs> it's actually a Mad, Ra Mad Max reference as well. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's how you know a show gets a 12 out of 10 when it actually makes a Mad, Ra Mad Max reference. I realize it actually has just turned into SMT at this point. This is literally just SMT now. This is this is some kind of spin-off to SMT.
<laughs> Tell me about it. Instead, instead of it being that Lucifer wills, it's God's. It's God that wills at this time. It's the reverse SMT, but it's SMT anyway. Don't cards have some some certain like symbol that actually connects them all together? That's how you actually pinpoint which ones they are. Is that is that actually only magic cards? I think. Oh, it's some decks that have it. Okay, that makes sense then. So I, used to, I used to remember there was a um, deck I used to have that had them on the back. It's like, oh, that's how you do it. Where, where did this show come from? <laughs> where has this show been my whole entire life? Jesus. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> Tell me about it. Episode 8 truly really is the pinnacle point of this whole entire show. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. 
Whoa. Whoa. Whoa. What just happened? What just happened? <laughs> it pretty much is. <laughs> it pretty much is at this point. You always just realise there's actually been two Sailor Moon references in one year. Which is just... Which is pinnacle anime at this point. Oh man, if only if only it was actually a JoJo reference just to end the whole entire thing. If only. If only. <laughs> oh man, the episode was so freaking good. <laughs> I'm glad, I'm glad the show hasn't lost its steam yet. It's one of the things that the show does really freaking well. It hasn't lost its steam. Because, uh, as, as I've always said, certainly some shows do tend to lose their steam after a while. But this show just remains incredible for the whole entire runtime. I don't know how... I don't know how the show does it. It just continues. It's just one of those, it's just one of those shows that we actually kind of need more often. Same thing happened with Hina Matsuri. The same thing happened with Pop Team Epic. When you think about it, 
when you think about it, 2018's really been the good year for comedies, because each comedy's been, like, kind of stand out in their own way. And this is this one especially. I think this one kind of trumps most of them, because I have no idea what the show does, but the VA work is so incredible that it just elevates everything just beyond where it is. I just don't understand how they do it, but god damn it. I'm so glad the show exists. They made a whole entire butt slap into, into a beetle end of all anime as well. <laughs> That's how you freaking do it. That's how you freaking do it. Oh, man. I'm also glad we actually went from an M from an MGS reference last week to an actual uh, Mad Max reference this week, which actually also makes two re two references to Metal Gear Solid in one year as well, because there's one in Pop Team Epic as well. There was the paradox in Pop Team Epic. I was like, oh yeah, but now that I now that I remember, it, it's actually two this whole entire year. Oh, there wasn't there wasn't an end credit scene after this one. Man, I've been robbed. I've been robbed. Jesus Christ, this show is so freaking good. This show is so freaking good. Anyway, yeah, same beforehand. I I just, I kind of like how the show paces itself because it's one of those things that it's not too boring. It's not too, it's not too, it's it's one of those things, certainly some comedies and slice of life shows do tend to kind of rear into the slow pace. But this show kind of has that pace that keeps you going the whole entire time. It's actually one of those things that has that great middle ground between kind of being slow but also kind of, being mild, mildly kind of mildly kind of fast at the exact same time is what I'm trying to say. My throat is given out. So yeah, it's one of those things that it's one of the, it has that it strikes that middle ground that it kind of needs to actually kind of deliver all its things in the correct manner because certainly sometimes some punchlines might get delivered too quickly in certain shows that just actually really live an impact. But this show tends to kind of rear into the actual kind of good pacing, I'd say. So I actually kind of like the pacing of this show as well. It has it's just really freaking good. Like all round, just this show is incredible. But that's just one of the good. One of the good things about the show, it just has that, it has that, it has that eloquent pace. So yeah. But my god, I just can't believe the show, <laughs> I really can't. I just, I, I don't know how it does it, I really don't. It's one of those things, I will forever just accept the show for, for just being one of the greatest, like, kind of comedies the whole entire year, possibly also the whole entirety of Lifetime as well. It's just one of those ones that I think we just needed this show, just more often. It's just, um, it does everything it needs to do, it does it absolutely perfectly. That's one of the things. Like it's one of those things. It does it. It does it. It does everything eloquently to the point that you just can't argue with it. The animation work, as I said last week, is absolutely incredible as well. In certain sections, like certain sections of the episode as well, it was just it was just legit. Just it was just some of the best of the whole entire year. I mean, the whole bit with when um, Kasumi and Hanako were speaking on the phone, when it just it slowly started to kind of drown out the colors. I thought it was actually a really clever thing to do because it kind of harkens back to this whole entire um, idea of horror movies. That whole entire like whole in, the whole entire like cliche of when the colors sort of drown out in the world as the as the phone call so it's get more and more serious as time goes on starts to actually kind of become a little bit more like kind of frightening it just it did that perfectly i thought that's actually a really really nice kind of callback to the, those whole entire films like one missed call and stuff like that so i thought that's actually a really really freaking good thing to do it's just it's just the show is full of really 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 good points that it kind of in theory it has something for it has something for everyone because again, as I said beforehand, comedies do tend to kind of be subjective. It's one of those things that you have to kind of strike a good ground between being being a good comedy and actually one that everyone can actually access. And I think jokes in this show do tend to land with certain people, and I think the jokes in this show are for everyone as well. It tends to bring everyone in, really, when you think about it. Like it's one of those ones that the comedy is really freaking good because it's one of those ones. It's, all, it's a joke for everyone, if you get what I mean. Certain shows do tend to kind of rear into like the kind of esoteric jokes. Like Pop Team kind of had that ho ho the whole entire time. Like there's certainly there's certainly some esoteric jokes that you had to be in the loop to get them. I think this one has a joke for everyone, really. So yeah, it's one of those things. I kind, I kind of, I kind of love this show. I really do. It's one of those ones that I, I was like, that might be good. I completely forgot about it. Then watched it when I came back. I was like, this is actually incredible. And it's just, it hasn't lost its steam. And I think, I think 2018 will be, be remembered for the year of comedies, the year of good comedies and terrible isekai shows actually as well. The more I think about it. But yeah, I mean, it's it's a, it's the year of good comedies because we had so many good ones this whole entire year that you just can't you can't you can't be at a loss really. Forget what I mean. Every single comedy has been 
certainly for someone as they say so yeah hopefully that once this show is actually kind of open more people actually pick it up because i don't really see many people talk about it it's, it's one of those things it has it has, ex it has the exact same effect starlight has no one's speaking about starlight's whole entire season like this show is freaking incredible and no one's talking about it and then <laughs> the same thing goes with this one as well I mean, yeah, <laughs> definitely say because I've been for the whole entirety of the last three years, but even more so this year, actually, it hasn't been really hasn't really been a good one this whole entire year. But, I mean, there's been like that one that one show you've been like, ah, eh, it's all right, you can watch that one. But this show this year has been kind of one of those years that they're actually kind of unbearable at points as well, which is actually kind of weird. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, I don't know. This show is just this show is just ah. I wish more people talk about it. More so for the VA work as well, because the VA work is, needs to be commended, because, as I, said, as I said beforehand, there's just certain things in this show that I just, oh, it's just, it's incredible. The VA work is just absolutely, absolutely, like, incredible. I think this show wouldn't be the same without it. I think this show, the, the punchlines tend to actually land a lot better because of it, because if it was just very standard voice acting, it might not be kind of as funny, but because it's actually been elevated by this voice cast, actually is freaking impeccable. I mean, most of them are actually quite new as well. Like, it just makes everything just ever better, and I think it actually kind of drives that pace along as well, because as I said beforehand, this idea of this idea of actually striking a middle ground between not too boring and actually not too fast. Like, it has that, I think the VA works do actually kind of elevate that as well. So, in that, in that, in that ballpark, that it's just freaking incredible, that I just, I love it. I think it's one of the best of the whole entire year, possibly even the best of the whole entire year when it comes to voice work. I mean, the only other one this whole entire year has actually been legit incredible has been Sun Gatsu and uh, Pop Team Epic, really when it comes to voice work but yeah hopefully hopefully the show just continues in this trajectory if it does it'd be freaking great because it has to i just want it to, i want it to succeed at the whole entirety of his runtime i want it to, i want to actually get to the point of it being the top 50 the whole entirety of mal as well because it deserves it it deserves being the top 50 of mal as well just for the whole entire reason of they actually made a whole entire butt a butt slap into the be or end of all shows, and also then they had a whole entire thing about the Virgin Killers as well. I just I thought that was incredible. I thought that's just it, it's just it just tells you how great the writing is as well. But yeah, I mean hopefully it does continue that vein. So that's me done for today. So as always, if you actually have enjoyed this whole entire stream on Twitch, then do leave a follow because indeed it does help me quite a bit. If you're here on YouTube and you do want to leave a like, then do leave a like because indeed it does help me quite a bit. If you're here on YouTube and you want to stay a bit longer, then do leave a sub because indeed it does help me quite a bit. But until tomorrow, with possibly some more Hinamatsuri, actually. Yeah, actually, more Hinamatsuri tomorrow. So until then, I'll see you guys later. Bye for now.